Hello and thank you for joining me on another episode of Welcome to My World. Today we have got our Universal Yums box. So I have ordered a monthly subscription. Um, so each month I'm going to receive a new box of snacks and treats from a different country around the world. I've been wanting to order one of these for a little while and I thought there's no better time than now. So yes, yeah, so I've ordered a, I'll show you this side because I've got my dress on. Um, yeah, Universal Yums box. And this one is from Thailand. So this is my first one I've ever ordered. So I'm going to be doing this monthly. Um, I'll get a new box every month and I'll open it and show you what's inside. And we'll try out the treats and snacks inside just for you. In case you're wanting to know what was in them, um, you'll start seeing what's in them every month. So let's start opening the box. Right, got my box, got my water. Just in case anything's not very nice tasting, we'll see. Right, let's open it. Land of the land of smiles. Should have got some scissors, but we'll go with a knife, shall we? So I ordered the medium box and that was, uh, I think it works out, well it's in dollars but I I think it works out about £25.05 pence per um, box that I'll receive each month. You can have a small one, I think that had six treats. This is the medium, it had 12 snacks and the large one had 15. So I went in the middle, we went in the middle, let's see what we've got in our box. So got a little welcome to Thailand a little leaflet and on the back looks like a scoreboard so you can treat you can score your you can score your snacks so we'll leave that there right off we go to Thailand so you've got a little pamphlet in here little booklet rather and it tells you all of the snacks that you get in here. Welcome to Universal Yums. We're so glad you're holding one of our boxes in your hand, or maybe it's on a table. Table. Or the couch. No, table. We guess it doesn't really matter. Before you get started on your yums, read the back of this for a few pointers. Did you notice on the maps? So basically it's just saying about the box, but we're not going to read that because we'll be here all day. So we've got first, we've got, so we should have 12 things in here. We'll count them after. I'm going to go through one each each one. Right, so first we got salt and sour crisps, I guess. Salt and sour crisp. Let's open them. <laughs> A bit stingy on the old um, amount, but hey ho, let's see what we've got. Are we ready? Salt and sour. Not really salty, not really sour, but they're quite tasty. But these ones are Teso again, yeah, Teso, same brand. Sweet and spicy, sweet garlic wheat crisps. Okay. Thick packet. One more. Okay. These don't want to get open, so we'll rest on this way. I've got little, do you see? Mmm, <laughs> oh they're really nice. They're like, um, sweet chilli. Mmm, they're really nice. So two packets of crisp. Three packets of crisp, what else we got? So this are Tasto again. So these ones are Thai chili pepper potato chips. Crisps as we call them in the UK. It's these ones. Look. Well these have got like little bits in them. Let's see if we can pull a whole one out to show you. So yeah, these are just ridged crisps. Bit like um what's the brand? 
I'm gonna say discos. What are these? What are these ones? Thai chili pepper. Ooh, they are spicy. They've got a little kick to them. Mmm. Again. Oh yeah, they're very spicy. Oh, they're very spicy. They burn. Heidi, you would not like these. Oh, they've got a kick. Right, what else we got? What's this? Fried shrimp roll farm. Sea roll farm. Fried shrimp with salad cream flavour. Salad cream? I do love a bit of salad cream, but... Seaweed wrapped potato stick with fried shrimp and mayo flavour. Okay, but this says salad cream flavour, so... <laughs> we'll see what this one is. How do you open it? Okay. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, I don't know about this one, guys. Fried shrimp. Okay, it's broken off anyway. Oh, that's a bit strange. <laughs> Can you see? So it's like literally seaweed wrapped in something. It says salad cream in there, it says shrimp and mayo in there. Let's give it a go, let's do it, let's be brave. Try new things, right? Mmm, that's <laughs> really nice. It definitely tastes the salad cream and not mayo. Mmm, that's really nice. Oh, that's really nice. And quite fishy. Mmm, definite aftertaste of uh, fish when it gets to seaweed. Mmm, very nice. Though. That's different. Not so much I would have um, brought, but I'm glad to taste it. That's very tasty. Oh, coconut. I might leave them for last because I'm not really a coconut fan. Oh, we got. Oh, so I think each month as well, from other videos I've seen, you get a little, um, you get a yum bag, and I think it has like sweets in it. So depending on how um, big or small your subscription is, small, medium, or large, um, is how many sweets and bits I do you think they send. So that's our little yum bag. We'll open that at the end. I'm going to save all the like puddingy bits. Till the end. Right, it's a bit quiet now. I've shut the um, door. It's quite warm in here though. It's probably take me jumper off. Right, next we have got May May Napa. Um, sticky rice with coconut cream and mango. Why? Why coconut? So, I'm not actually like coconut to be fair. But we'll try it. So, let's show you before we open it. Try before you buy. Okay, so May Napa sticky rice. So I'm just going to break a bit off and uh, try it. Mmm. <laughs> that's really nice. Oh, that's really nice. I'm not. Like I'm not a coconut fan, but maybe it's because it's mixed with the mango. It does have a coconut, a very strong coconut aftertaste. Maybe this box will uh, change my taste buds, but yeah. Mmm, it's nice. Put that in a bowl with some of it. I wonder if it's like um, I think it's rice is the main course, isn't it, or whatever you have. Right, what else we got? Made from real coconut milk. Okay, more coconut with natural banana. This one is not all fruits in Thailand are salty, some are sweet and some are ghostly. According to Thailand folk, with wild banana trees are haunted by a ghost woman named Nang Tani. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. That's what we've got here. Let's see what's inside. Ooh. 
Oh, it smells um, strong. Ah, so these are little uh, like wafery biscuits. Biscuits? Well, yeah, I guess so. Like them brandy snaps is what they uh, remind me of. And the crisps also, that like I said in the other bit, discos, not discos, McCoy's, that's what they remind me of, the ridgy ones. Coconut E again. Let's give it a go. Mm. I'm going to taste the banana. No. They're not for me. Oh, no, they're not for me. What? Yeah, no. I don't like those ones. I do not like those ones. Oh, no. Very strong coconut banana flavour, that is the flavour. Um, and kind of like brandy snaps with the um, texture. Oh, these look nice. What we've got, Chucky. Real coconut and yummy. Let's get these ones out of the way, actually. Let's get these ones. So these are puddingy bits now, I think. Let's do that. So real coconut crisps and yummy. Blendy, blendy, coconut chips. Sea salt and caramel. Where are these ones? Salted caramel coconut chips. Is your mouth on fire? Quick, chomp into these crispy salted caramel coconut chips for some sweet relief. Let's give them a go. Let's have a little look what we've got. Ah, oh, these like crisps. Oh, what are the crisps? I was talking about these crisps the other day to my uh, husband. I couldn't remember what the brand was. Comment down below if you remember like the crisps that look like these, like little chips of little fragmented bits like that. Tell me down below if you remember what they're called. Let's give these a go. So anyway, sea salt, caramel, coconut. Not a combination that I would choose, but... So, the first one tasted them, I've got a very strong caramel taste, but the aftertaste is um, very much coconut again. But, quite like these ones. Mm, caramel, and then, yeah, aftertaste. So, instantly the caramel taste, which is mm mm mm. And then, Coconut. I'm not sure. No, no, I think I like them. Mm. No, um, no taste of salt in those ones, though. I don't taste of salt at all. Alright, what we got? These ones look really nice. Chucky wafer, honey toasted flavour, cream. Wafer cubes with honey toast flavoured cream. Mmm. These sound nice. I do like a wafer. Let's see what we've got. Can you see? Mmm. Let's go. Mmm. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, they're probably my favourite out of all these. Like the puddings, yeah. They're very nice. Can't go wrong with the wafer, can you? I do love a wafer. And what's this from? Gelatin free, no fat, no trans fat. So is this chewing gum or is it? It says gummy candy, but. I don't want to be swallowing this if it's... Let's see if we can find it and see what it says. Heartbeat Lime Gummy. 
So yeah, gummies. Let's try these. Like I said, I don't think they're chewing gums, but oh okay. Definitely not chewing gums. They look like on bags. There's like sugary. Can you see? Like a little gummy sweet. Let's give it a go. Mmm. Very much like um fruit pastels. That's literally what they are. Lime fruit pastels. Yeah, I like those ones. I'm doing good. I like most of these things. I do like most of these things. And last but not least, guys, we've got the Yum Bag. Like I said, I think each month they send you this. And um, it's a different size depending on your size box. So let's open these. Or let's rip them. Let's rip them and tip them out. Okay. Oh, I missed one. Okay, so we've got three four of them four of them and four of them so we've got three lots of different sweets four lots of three get four of each sweet let's try them what we've got so we've got these ones you can see pineapple of course it is what are they jelly sweets Duck. Oh, it's a little hot. Hmm. I might skip to the end when I bet this because uh, it'll be take me a while to eat one of these, so we'll we'll do one at a time. Quite fruity, quite refreshing. Not a sweet I would choose to buy, um, but okay, okay. Right, I'll put these ones. Um, Corn flavoured candy. Oh my god, you yeah. like hard chewy. Again, I'll be right when I finish eating this one. It's gonna take a while. No, I don't like that one. That one's not for me. And this one, banana chew. I do like banana. Let's see. I always like to sniff stuff, guys. You have to have a sniff, didn't you? Sorry guys, oh, they're not for me, that is, no. Right, so that's it guys, that is our Universal Yum box review um, done with. Uh, that was fun, like I said, I'm not sure if it's worth £25, um, but it is fun to see what treats that people offer from different places around the world. So one of my videos now each month is going to be this box when it comes, I'm going to show you what I get and try the treats and sweets again. And I'm going to get Sam to try them when he gets in from work and see what he thinks. And that's about it. I think my favourite was the wafers. And my least favourite was these horrible oh, banana um, chews. No, no, no. Not a fan. Not a fan. But thank you so much for watching. Also, if you click in the um, description down below, I've put a little code in there that you can, um, if you buy one of these, sign up or order one, you can get £5 off your first box. You can thank me later. Um, yeah, comment down below if you have actually tried one of these, if you have signed up to one of these and i will see you on fridays at 7 p.m thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and ciao